I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on square roots. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for making my videos on square roots very popular. My first video to cross a million will be on square roots soon. Now here are two requests. One is to find square root of 110.25 which is I've written here. The second one which I've just come in is to find square root of the number 1.8 Two, four, right. So I'll take both of them in this particular video. Now 110.25 is a very interesting number. We could actually find square root of this number in many different ways. Right? The answer is 10.5. But I'll continue with the, with the standard method which I have uh, shared with you so far. So to find square root, the first step here is to write the number in sets of twos. So let me rewrite this number which is 110.25. So we make sets of twos going away from the decimal point. So this is the decimal point. You go right sets of twos, go left sets of twos. Well this is left. So to begin with we are going to divide the very first number by a number here it should come both ways. We need product to be 1. So the number could only be 1, right? So 1 times 1 is 1. And when you take away, what do you get? You get 0. Then bring down both these numbers, 10, and repeat this process of finding the square root. Now this time, when you are doing it for the second time, you have to double the quotient here. Quotient is 1, make it 2. And now we are looking for another number in the second place. If I place 1 here, both places have to be filled in by the same number. If I write 1, I get 21, which is more than 10. So I cannot write 1, I have to go with 0. So writing 0 here gives me 0 times 20, which is 0. Now when you take away 0 from 10, what do you get? you get 10. So bring down 10 here and now copy the next two digits which are 25, 10, 25. Since we are working with the number after decimal place, I will have to write a decimal there. Now again, what should I write as a divisor? Well, the divisor should be twice the quotient, right? So it is 20. Next number to put here should be 5. So the same number goes in the quotient as in the divisor. Now when you multiply, 5 times 5 is 25 and 5 times 2 is 10. Remainder in this particular case is 0. So, so we found exact square root. Correct? So we know that the square root of 110.25 is equal to 10.5. Now let's take up the second example. I hope you have understood these steps. I'll repeat these steps once again so that you clearly understand the method. Now we will do square root of 1.824. So first step is to make sets of tools starting from the decimal point, right? So sets of twos will mean from decimal, right side we got 8, 2, 4 is left. On the left side, 1 is left. There is only one number. Then when we divide, we have to divide putting the divisor and the quotient, same number, the square root, right? So it is like 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9. So we are working with the same number. So 1 comes in both the places. Take away 1, from 1 you get 0, bring down 82, right? So, we get 0 here, bring down 82. The next number to divide with is what? Is twice this number. So double the quotient, it is 1, make it 2. And now we have to look for a number in these places. Same number should be placed, right? So if I place 2, for example, 2 times 2 is 4, we get 44. 
we could try 3 also. If I place 3, 3 times 2 is 6, that will go, right? So, after the decimal, I am putting a number 3 here. Same number should be written in the divisor as you place on the quotient. Now, multiply by 3, the number 23. So, you get 3 times 3 as 9 and 3 times 2 as 6. Now, again, follow your division process, that is, take away and bring down the number left which is 4. So now 12 take away 9 is 3 and 7 take away 6 is 1. Bring down 4. Now what should you divide by? Well in this division we have to double the quotient which is 1 3. So double is 26. Now we have to think. Now in this particular place I did a mistake. It is 4. We should add a 0 here. We have to bring down sets of 2's right? So, if it is not completed, you have to add a zero and then bring down two digits, right? So, we get four zero here. Now, you divide, correct? So, let's try the number. The same number should go into the quotient and in the divisor. So, what is the best number to go? Well, I think it is five. So, if I write five here and five on this side, five times five is 25. We get five here, two. 5 times 6 is 30, <clears throat> 32, 3. 5 times 2 is 10 and 3, 13. So that is the closest we could go. And now here we have a remainder. So this is not the exact value, but for two decimal places, it is good enough. So what we get here is that square root of 1.824 is equal to 1.35. This is accurate to two decimal places. So what do we note from here? So note, make set of twos, right? So when you make set of twos on the right side after decimal, we have to bring two numbers together down, right? Make set of twos. So on the right side of decimal, complete the sets. On the left side, it is not necessary. It should not be done, right? So that is a big change. And I think that is why this question has come at the right moment. I hope that really helps. I did not cover this point in most of my videos. And I think that should help many of our viewers to understand that the sets of tools which we are taking should should be set of twos on the right side of decimal, right? So we should not have taken just four down. It was 40 to be brought down to complete the square root of the given number. I hope that helps. Thanks again for sharing these questions. I hope it helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.